<sighs> when next is the when is the next episode gonna be like can that can set you or something that'll be funny well I got that protection damn body wrong didn't I yeah a bit awkward so yeah I guess we should move on to the actual video now so greetings my boys welcome back to can't explain badly the show where you watch an almost 15 year old watch nationalist random randomly randomly ramble on about different countries for like seven or eight minutes and today's topic is gonna be the Democratic Republic of the Congo or Congo Kinshasa as some people call it so without further delay let's get right into it Democratic Republic of the Congo is a um, uh, a f***ing huge nation in the middle of Africa, bordering, I think, nine countries. Those being, of course, the Republic of the Congo, the Central African Republic, South Sudan, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Tanzania, Zambia, and Angola. Twice. They also have a very, very small coast on the Atlantic Ocean or whatever. Close enough to the Gulf of Guinea, but not at all, I guess. I don't know. I don't really care either. So, yeah, demographics then. Despite being a French, no, Belgian colony actually, for like, ages and, well, I think you all know the famous story of the Congo horrors. The, the official language is French, and they actually tried to uh, make a Dutch co-official, but it didn't really work out. Yeah, it would have been made a bit more confusing. Almost everyone here speaks French anyway, so if you know that, you'll be fine if you decide to visit. Anyways, I have a population of 96 million. That number's probably slightly outdated. It currently has an annual population growth rate of 3.2%. And the RC also has a land area of 2,345,409 square kilometers, giving the DRC a population density of 48. Um, well, people per square kilometer. They have a normal GDP of about 64 billion US dollars, um, according to the IMF, or International Monetary Fund, giving the DRC the 86th largest normal GDP in the world, and a GDP per capita of only 660 US dollars, which is bloody abysmal, unfortunately. They also have a HDI score of 0.479, making it making the DRC the 179th most developed country in the world. Now I saw a commenter that was like, I don't know, they were just a bit, a bit. I think they found it a bit funny that I said most developed, or rather highest economy, even though San Marino, you know, GDP was like 190th largest. And, uh, yes, English is not very good, or my English. I mean, it's alright, but... Lift. Anyways, demographics. I think demographics, rather. There are gonna be very, very rough estimations for the information. And, um, uh, I thought I spelled... I, th I thought I spelled the estimation wrong, I don't think I did. Anyways, I think majority is our Bantu parent group. Peoples at about 80%, followed by non Bantu peoples such as the Gil Gilima, Mono, and, and, da and, and Adamawa and peoples at 18%. The religious majority is Christianity, half are Catholic, the rest are quote other Christians at 95%, followed by people who follow traditional religions at about 3%. They use the Congolese franc as their currency, I think it has an inflation rate of 16.3%. And um, uh, I, I don't have any costs of living thingies. Nomeo doesn't do um, DRC for some reason, it's stupid. They use a type C and D, C, D and E plug outlets, although like only 10% of the country has access to electricity. Circa 2015, I think. They drive on the right side of the road and it is a unitary state, despite being the, the second largest country in Africa. I'm decently sure. Second or third. Uh, 
around with Sudan. I'm not, I don't know. Sudan used to be the largest country, but then South Sudan decided to split. And now it's Algeria. Yay. And um, uh, the politics of the DRC are very bloody strange, so... Instead of trying to fit it all into this one map, I created a whole ass other... Well... I, I won't say map, it was just a, just a sheet of information. Okay. So the politics of the DRC are weird as hell. L let me explain. So, the head of state, who is the president, is Felix Shishikedi, I think that's pronounced. Probably not, but alright. Um, he is a member of Union Polar Union Polar Democratie et, et le Progrès Social. I almost said Polar Republic. I was thinking of the Togo episode, and it was translates to Union for Democracy and Social Progress, or UDPS. It's a center-left political party, its ideologies being progressivism and social democracy, and some parts of it are factions, um, having so democratic socialism and social liberalism as their ideologies. This is where it starts to get a bit weird. The head of government is Samuel Lukond. Lukonde, I don't know. That, that, that's all normal, because well, a, lo a lot of nations actually do that. He's, but, well, the stupid part comes in when you realize these two people are, are members of different political parties. Samuel Lukonde is a member of Avenir to Congo, or Future of Congo, or ACO which is a centrist political party, I think, with its only ideology being liberalism. And here's where it gets even stupider. The largest party in parliament isn't either of those. It's Front Commune pour, la, pour le Congo, or Common Front for the Congo, or FCC, which is just a massive coalition. And unfortunately, there's, like, almost no decent info about them. I... I well, there's no decent info about, like, um, Avenue to Congo either. I have to go on French Wikipedia. That's scary. Nah, I'm taking the piss. So, what I don't get is... Why the hell are all these people part of different political parties? It doesn't make any sense. This is stupid. Anyways, now that we've got that confusing out the way, let's move on back to the map. The DRC has a democracy index score of 1.48, bloody abysmal, it gives it a rank of 162nd and classes it as an authoritarian state. From what I know, elections seem to happen completely at random, and um, uh, well, although a general election is expected to be held in December 2023, so uh, keep an eye out for that I guess. For being called the Democratic Republic of the Congo, it doesn't really seem too democratic, does it? <laughs> Irony. Anyways, their anthem is Dubu, Co Dubu Congolese, which translates to Arise Congolese. Um, their uh, well, capital city is Kinshasa, and well, some people actually call it Congo Kinshasa, and they and some also people. Some people also call the Republic of the Congo, um, Congo Brazzaville. That's a fun fact for you. Anyways, their highest mountain is Mount Stanley, which is also, um, Uganda's highest mountain at 5,109 meters tall. And without the way, this video has now reached like 9 minutes long. Therefore, I would like to say thank you very much for watching, stay based, and uh, stay tuned, next episode is gonna be the other Congo, the Republic of the Congo. So, as I said, stay tuned for that. Stay based, and I will see you next week, if I can be asked. Goodbye.